I'm in Bosnia, Herzegovina, a country where they're pretty crazy about one very particular car model. The Golf and Volkswagen are number one choice for the, for the Bosnian people. Some people say the Golf's legendary status here was born during Bosnia's War of Independence in the 90s. But the story goes back far further than that, as I found out. Why is the Golf so adored in Bosnia? And car napping for a ransom? My journey begins at an old airfield near the city of Tuzla in the northeast of the country. Adnan Nehmedovic is the fastest man in Bosnia over 400 meters. On the road, that is, not the running track. <laughs> That's a scary beast, the fastest golf in Bosnia, oh my god. A golf Mark II meticulously put together by Adnan and his team. It's fitted with a 3.6 liter Passat engine and currently boasts some 840 horsepower and a really mean look. Is it right with this one? Let's do it. Hey, but here, gibt's hier Ansteigwote eigentlich? Oh man, ey. Adnan's installed a new engine. His mission to set a new record at the next meet. But first, the test run will show whether the car is potentially up to the task. We scream from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in two seconds. And there's no stopping us. A flat out Hail Mary run with no seat belts inside and a customized Bosnian Golf. A couple of hours earlier, I met Adnan at his home on the outskirts of Tuzla, where he lives his passion for Volkswagens. Was steht auf deinem T-Shirt drauf? Niemand ist perfekt, aber wenn du im Golf fährst, bist du sehr nah dran. Adnan spent a few years in Germany during the war and speaks the language fluently. He set up his car workshop next to his house in 2009 and also keeps his collection of racing trophies there. Which is the most important? Yeah, this is the from this year, where we were here in Schwinze. There was the fastest on this weekend with a 9,3. That was the fastest time in Bosnia. Until then, I was in Sarajevo with a 9,2. That was the fastest time. That's why it's here the best 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 time. Adnan's first ever car was also a Golf 2, so even old spare parts have a big sentimental value and he gives them a loving retirement home in his garden. That's the block that the 9.2 is going, so I couldn't take it away. Ah, okay, that's it. So, with him, you're going to be the best time. What's all this for Golf? Adnan's high-speed hobby means freight nerves and spare parts. But who can resist a monster sound like this? Something his wife eventually learned to live with. The meanest golf in Bosnia, nicknamed VR for Veronica, is given a final check before our test drive. The engine is longitudinally mounted, which is why the radiator had to make way and be fitted on the outside. The only remaining headache now is the fuel pipe. But it's nothing these gearheads can sort out. Da ist ein Schlauch und nicht von den Einspitzpunkten bis zu dem Motor. Den wechsle ich kurz. Adnan and his team are often busy tweaking the golf late into the night. To date, he's invested around 20,000 euros in the car and souped it up to the best part of 1,000 horsepower. Some people do yoga, Adnan golfs. Wenn ich so einen richtig stressigen Tag gehabt habe, so wirklich scheiße arbeiten im Auto oder wenn was nicht geht und so, ich setze mich ins Auto, fahre eine Runde, ich habe alles vergessen. 
Adnan's fascination with the golf began when he was just a boy. But why is it that German car maker VW is so wildly popular across the entire country? Bei uns nennt man es Nardenhaut. Also so Leute für, für normale Leute, die sich das leisten können, sind nicht teuer, sind auch billiger zu reparieren, sind auch gute Autos. Da kannst du den kommen mit noch so einem schönen Kia oder was weiß ich. Dann sagen die, nee, ich fahre lieber einen gebrauchten Passat als einen neuen Kia. Ist halt so. My next stop is Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia-Herzegovina. The country is home to four and a half million people and over a million officially registered cars. And a full one-third of them are Volkswagens. You can only estimate how many golfs are actually on the country streets. But the members of this car club are keen to show me the array of models in their possession, all golfs from generations one through eight. Iman's golf certainly stands out from the crowd with its retro-style paint job, exactly what she wanted. Why do you like yes. the old stuff so much? I don't know, because everything that's older reminds me of better times. It has its own smell, like, I don't know, everything is simpler. Now yeah. it's like complicated, phones, uh, displays, cars, everything. Her 1989 Golf 2 got its makeover from fellow club members. The interior is still a work in progress, but the car costs just 250 euros and is otherwise good to go. Which one is the most famous of all the golf cars here in Bosnia? Uh, I think this one. You can see this car on every corner you go here in Bosnia, especially Sarajevo. Like, wherever you go, you see this car. Good, bad, rusty or something, you will see it and people like it. It's like a legend. Yes, it's like a legend. <laughs> the VW Bosnia story began in 1972. Volkswagen teamed up with local car maker Unis for a joint venture called Zvonica Automobila Sarajevo. Its factory had a workforce of three and a half thousand people assembling first Beatles and later first and second generation Golfs. TAS, a Yugoslav West German success story. Nedzad Mulahetovic worked in the Sarajevo factory in the 1980s and proudly shows us his Tusk Golf Mark 1. So, West Germany. Uh -huh. But it is actually from Yugoslavia. Tako je. Znači ovo je originalni motor, 1.6 dizel koji se ugrađivao u ovaj model Golfa jedinice. Bio je jako jako popularan u bivšoj Jugoslaviji radi izdržljivosti i radi male potrošnje dizela. The only difference to the Golf made back in West Germany was the TAS logo on the radiator and the J standing for Yugoslavia on the rear hatch. How was it to build such a car in, in, in socialist Yugoslavia? Želja svakog prosječnog Jugoslovena je bila da ima golfa. Za golf se čekalo, ko je imao novac naravno u to vrijeme, za golf se čekalo i do šest mjeseci na isporuku golfa. I ja sam eto, imao sreću pa sam skupio nešto novca i kupio sam sebi golfa jedincu i ispunio sam svoju želju. A posebno kao tad mlad čovjek to je za mene bilo jako jedna velika stvar. Moja generacija će razumiti o čemu ja pričam sad u ovom trenutku. A generation who would soon face a far more serious ordeal. Communist Yugoslavia incorporated multiple nationalities and religious affiliations, held together by President for Life, Josep Tito. Over a decade after his death, the country began to fall apart in the early 90s. The resulting series of Balkan wars fought along ethnic and religious lines caused widespread devastation. The bloodiest of the conflicts in Bosnia cost the life of 100,000 people and also left the TAS factory destroyed. Next up, I visit Motor City Vogosha, where the factory still stands. During the Bosnian war, it found itself right on the front line. It's hard to imagine that here it had a very prosperous factory one time. Eh? Looks all a little bit dead here. Dead and empty. A few years after the war, it reopened business as VW Sarajevo. Only parts of the factory are used by VW today, with the others rented out. It looked to me like a place on the brink of closure, despite the money and effort invested after the war. Yeah, some of the pictures you show how it was back in the days, actually. Reconstruction, 96 to 97, 
look totally devastated. War torn factory, offices destroyed, empty construction sites here. While the factory reopened in 1998 with great hopes and expectations, VW's Bosnian venture never properly recovered. Only around 170 of the once three and a half thousand strong workforce returned. They now assembled Skodas as opposed to Golfs until eventually the production was likewise discontinued. Currently, operations here have been reduced to making individual components for assembly elsewhere. Slowly but surely, the history of VW and Vogosha is fading. But the Golf itself and the nostalgia surrounding the car are very much alive in Bosnia. Among VW aficionados on the road and for sculpture and scientist Daniel Premetz. He works at the University of Fine Arts in Sarajevo and has plans to create a monument celebrating the Golf II and serving as a reminder of how the car provided people with a renewed sense of normality after the ravages of war. After the war, it was huge emptiness. You miss people that died. You miss people that uh, are abroad. And you wish that they return, you know. It's, uh, that, that's the worst thing, that emptiness. And uh, you cannot cry, you become cold, because uh, you were so many times beaten. The war brought death and destruction to countless families, including that of Premets. His stepfather died in the early stages of the conflict. And those who survived clung on to physical mementos like the Golf to provide comfort in chaotic times. He's not anymore just car. He's emotion. Emotion that uh, uh, Bosnian people and others hold in their hearts. It's emotions about uh, wealthy years, before war, about survival during the war, and after war, that was an opportunity for the people to feel themselves again, like a normal people, to uh, feel that we are not poor, that we are again in that condition like before. Even though it would take many more years for the rubble and ruins to be cleared away, and wounds to heal. With a third of cars on the roads of Bosnia being VWs, they are also among the most popular models for car thieves. The majority of police cars are also VWs. While these officers refused to do an interview about the issue of car theft, they did agree to take me on a photo op ride in their VW. So I asked Adan, the man with the speediest ride in Bosnia, about how the stolen car business works. I have seen how fast they are going to kill a golf clown. Because when I was in VW, I came to the golf that they brought back. They called him and said, so and so much, you get the car back. He had also paid for the car. He had the car back. Yes, exactly. How did he find out? Yes, my colleagues had a VW car. At night, they said, when you have your car, you have to pay so and so much. You have to pay so and so much. Dann wollte sie einfach am, äh, am Anfang nicht bezahlen. Dann haben die auch angerufen und auch bedroht. Weißt du? Wir wissen ja, du wohnst da und da, deine Frau geht da arbeiten und bla bla weißt du? Und dann, dann hast du halt, das heißt, du sagst, scheiß drauf, ich bezahle dann auch die 3000, die der weißt du, verlangt. Lass mich einfach in Ruhe. Weißt du? So, some of the stolen VWs in Bosnia do make it back to their owners. Although others are never seen again. I next traveled down south to Mostar known for the iconic old bridge rebuilt after the war. The city has always been a melting pot of different cultures and religions. But Mostar is also the home of some hardcore VW fans and now of the country's first vintage car museum too.
Its director, Zravko Vidovic, has rustled up a couple of pretty unique golfs for us and shows me around the museum. He collects everything that takes his fancy and that helps to preserve this specific cultural heritage. And it's here that I by chance come across what you might call the spark for the VW cult here. A 1972 Tusk Beetle that belonged to a delightful but sadly now deceased lady. And things have seen a very colorful development since Jelka's VW Beetle and Mazda. Although the taste of the VW fans have changed somewhat. Davo drives a GTI G60 Edition 1, a jewel and a Golf Crown dating from 1990 and packing 280 horsepower. Mustafa has a DIY style custom edition. The 21 year old has cerebral palsy and with his dad built something that was not easily available on the market. A Golf 1 Cabrio with automatic transmission. Volkswagen mi bila želja oduvijek, ali Volkswagen ne dvica, trica, četvorka, ništa, samo tjec. Golf 1 Cabrio, to mi je... To je to. To je to, nema dalje, nema dalje. Znači da ga pravimo ja i on zajedno. I onda je to to. Znači nije stvar da ti kupiš ovo, sad odeš i kupiš ovako nešto. Znači trebali smo da uradimo nešto, prvo smo što on želi, što mu je to dječaški san, a onda da uradimo nešto što nema nigdje. Znači ovaj mjenjač s ovim motorom u Golfu jedinici Cabriju nema nigdje sigurno. Ali bitno je da je VW. Ja lično ne priznajem druga vozila, mora biti VW. Nadam se tako je do sada bilo da će tako da ostane ljudi niz godina, barem ovdje, barem ovdje kod nas u Bosni, ja se isno nadam. And that rounds off my trip across Bosnia-Herzegovina. And back in time through the history of the golf's popularity here. A legend and a love story in one, with no shortage of people writing the next chapter. A story that involves a different kind of affiliation and devotion in Bosnia, and Herzegovina. So while everyone is on the phone here, it's time to say goodbye. This was it from Bosnia this time. Uh, check out our new episodes coming very soon. Uh, leave a like and follow the channel. See you next time at DWRF. Ah, you have finished talking. Good. <laughs>